Okay, so this is a picture of a patient who's got a number of issues. I think the most prominent issue that we see there is this patient has got really enlarged pores. Of course, there's also uneven skin tone as well as a little bit of redness and inflammation to the skin. How I would improve this patient's skin, a few things we can do. So in order for the pores to be smaller, we need to fill a few criteria. One, the pores need to be unclogged, meaning they are not held open by dead skin or oil secretions. Two, uh, we hope that the overall skin is well hydrated so that the oil secretion and the oil gland activity is down regulated. The third thing is we want to have actually good collagen reserve in the skin such that once the pores are unblocked, they bounce back to as small as they can. This is not to say that we are able to restore this patient to poreless porcelain skin. How big or small our pores are, there is also a genetic element to how small we can go. But in general, looking at this patient's skin, I would recommend treatments such as gentle chemical peels. This will help to exfoliate the skin sometimes helps to down-regulate the oil production as well. This patient would probably also benefit from a little bit of topical retinoids, be it very mild retinoids all the way to stronger topical retinoids such as tretinoin. A good hyaluronic acid serum or hydration to the skin would be very, very useful to hold water in the skin without blocking the pores. Other good skincare to use in such patients would be, of course, things like vitamin C as well as sunscreen because these would actually help to slow down collagen loss as a result result of sun damage. There are also other medical grade treatments that we often use, treatments such as lasers, microneedle, radiofrequency and sometimes medifacials as well.